If you're looking for an easy tutorial on how to stream on Facebook with OBS, this tutorial will help you tremendously. OBS Studio will give you the power to design your own video overlay just like this on Facebook Live. Yes! If you're new to my channel, I provide super fun tutorials on OBS Studio, YouTube tips and tricks, and other video software tools. The purpose of this channel is to bring you the juiciest information to boost subscribers and views for your channel. Subscribe and let's get some together. So here's how the data travels. First, what we'll do is connect our USB camera and microphone to OBS Studio on your PC. And from there, we'll add all our special effects, our graphics, our motion, our sound effects, everything that you do with OBS. The example that you saw at the beginning of this video is a prime example of what's capable of OBS Studio. And then we will output that information live to Facebook Live using a unique URL and special code that is assigned to your Facebook account. So we're going to dig in first now and look into how to connect both the camera and the microphone. Let's go. Okay, here we are in OBS. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus in on scenes and sources. Now, understanding these two things is very, very easy. All you have to know is that the scenes contain the sources and what's inside sources are things like your microphone, your camera, a window showing your, your browser, graphics, movies, that sound effects, all that stuff. Okay. So what you do is you create a scene that contains a bunch of sources and then you create another scene and then you can switch back and forth. Uh, so it gives you quite a, a large amount of power in regards to what can be shown when you have a bunch of scenes. So let's go in and create a scene right now. We'll click the plus sign in the lower left-hand corner, and we'll type in mic and camera. Okay, You can name it anything you want. It's not really that important. Hit OK. And now that we've created that scene, now it comes time to add the sources. We're going to add a mic and a camera source. So I'll hit the plus sign, and the first thing I want to click here is add a audio input capture. We're going to add my microphone. Click that. And this is very important because naming it helps you organize and reuse these things. So if I'm going to name this mic. So I can reuse this source in other scenes if needed. And if you don't name it what it is, it's going to get confusing really quick. So name it mic and hit OK. Then you select the mic, and in this case, it's the ATR USB microphone. That's what I'm using right now. Hit OK again. And as you can see, when I did that, it created another audio mixer track called Mic, but I can't hear it. It's not coming through the speakers. And the reason why is the system assumes that you don't want to do that because when you're in a live stream and you're talking, you don't want the vocalization to come out of the speakers and then be recorded back into the mic, it creates a weird effect and it's irritating for your users. And so it's best to make sure that the sound is not coming through your speakers. But if you want to hear it, you can do it. Click the gear, click advanced audio properties, and then you'll see a track here called mic. And under audio monitoring, click the down arrow and click monitor and output. And now you can hear the echo because the sounds coming out of the speakers and getting re-recorded onto my microphone creating this weird sound effect which people don't want to hear so turn it off but I want to make sure you understand how to do that down the road okay now we're going to click the plus sign under sources again and select video capture device and that is my C922 and that's exactly what I'm going to name this C922 hit OK and uh, just by luck, the system has def has already selected C922 Pro Stream webcam. I think I only have just a couple. So yeah, I only have just a couple here, and I just got lucky and it selected it. Now I'm not going to get into the details of this. I want to get you off the ground quickly. I'll just hit OK, and you're in good shape. Here is my live stream view. You can make it larger or smaller if you you click your Alt key and click on one of the handles. You can actually crop the size, which is very helpful. So there you go size and cropping. Okay, good. Let's go over to Facebook and get that special URL and special code that will give you the power to broadcast from OBS through Facebook Live to the planet Earth. Let's go. Okay, the next step on how to stream on Facebook with OBS is to go into settings in OBS and select the stream icon on the left and there is a service pull down. Click that and select Facebook Live. 
Upon doing that, I want you to click the Get Stream Key and it will take you to Facebook. Log in to your Facebook account and it will take you to a special URL called facebook.com forward slash live forward slash create. And when you get there, there's a little blue button that says create live stream. Click that and it's going to take you to a page with some special parameters that you need to review here real quick. The most important thing, click the use stream key button here. The most important thing that you want is the stream key. So click copy right away and you'll have that into cache. So you can paste that later. And now you want to review some of the other settings here. You can check off use a persistent stream key, which means that it will be the same key from time to time. You won't have to go through this process. So if you check that off, uh, it may make things a little bit more convenient for you. In settings, click the down arrow for stream. And the first one says end live video if the stream stops. I don't think that's a good idea. I think I will uncheck that just in case there's an interruption in the stream. I don't want to have to restart the whole stream all over again. So I uncheck that. Uh, you can allow embedding. In other words, there's a URL that you can copy and paste into your website if you wish, which is really cool. Uh, if you check off unpublish after live video ends, it basically means that the video will disappear. I'm, I'm sure they'll have a copy of it somewhere on Facebook, but it won't be made public after you make your live stream. If you uncheck that, it will be viewable after you're finished. And then finally, there's something called viewing, allow viewers to rewind. I always check that off because that's kind of a nice usability capability that uh, people can review or rewind your video after they see parts of it. So it's kind of a nice thing to allow people to do that. And now we're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to recopy the stream key just to make sure that I have it in cache. I'm going to pop back over into OBS Studio and I'm going to put my cursor right there in the stream key field and hit paste. And there it goes. Now I'll hit, hit OK. And now I'm going to click Start Streaming. And when I do, a little green square comes up, which means that I'm sending the signal and it's going successfully over to Facebook. So let's pop over to Facebook real quick. And as you can see in the lower right-hand corner, there is a actual video that is showing my stream. There it is right there. If I wave my hands, there is about a 10-second delay. So that it does take some time to get over there. But it is getting there. So we are successfully streaming data through the Facebook servers and it's almost ready to go live. So if I hit the go live button right here, I'm going to do it right now. Here we go. Boo. Oh, they want me to add a title. So I'll click the add a title here real quick. Test two. And I will hit go live. And it does some thinking. Here it goes. Boom. It's official. We're live. So. And I, here's where the comments will pop up on the left. There's real, I don't, I'm not big on Facebook, so I don't have too many users. It's where you can communicate with people as you're live streaming. I'm going to hit, oh, there's High Velocity Savage. And there he is. What is up? It's good to see you, brother. Thanks for stopping in, High Velocity Savage. You'll be in this video, dude, later. So we hit end. Okay. And you can rate it and so forth. I'm going to go to stream health. And it gives you some statistics to show you uh, how many bits per second and your frame rate and all kinds of cool stuff and the event logs and everything. It's kind of neat. If you're interested in learning how I made that cool overlay at the beginning of the video, click this link right here. And if you're interested in trying to sort of tweak your settings so that your live stream resolutions are a little bit better, check this link right here. I explain all those intense parameters and make it real simple for you. In the meantime, I wish you all the luck and keep fighting and stay strong. Things will turn for your channel, I promise you. I'll catch you on the flip side.